morning everyone welcome back today we're going to take a look at an offering from silver bridge coffee company this is their medium roast highlander grog um, now i always forget where they're out of but this is an ohio company uh, so again support your small business support your local business um, but silver bridge is one we've explored before they have started to carry it in one of my local supermarkets, which is kind of cool. Previously, I was just ordering it, you know, a couple of different varieties here. So this is their ground version. Normally, I prefer whole bean, but all they had was ground of this particular one. But I figured we've tried quite a few Highlander grogs, Highland grogs, you know, the whole, the whole nine yards, so to speak, over the course of the channel. And I figured it would be cool just to see what Silverbridge brings to the... Uh, brings to the table. Now, I can't remember, I can't remember the last one. I, I think it was like the pecan that I wasn't, the, the smell was great, but the flavor wasn't quite there. Whew, wow. I'm a, I'm a little ways away from this bag and I can smell that, uh, that butterscotchy sort of smell coming out of there. Let's uh, sniff it again. Okay. It smells really nice. Definitely more of a butterscotch Kind of a, yeah, I mean, I guess you could sort of all, almost call that rum too. It doesn't smell bad. It smells a bit like candy though, which I'm not overly excited about. And the only reason I'm not all that excited about is that I don't really want to drink candy coffee. <laughs> and Highlander Grog though, at least traditionally from what I've had in, you know, from other coffee companies is normally it's like a kind of an earthy, you know, medium sort of coffee, medium roast kind of deal. It's just, it's just a nice like everyday drinker kind of deal with more like a, the, the whiskey touch. I mean, rum, butterscotch, kind of puts me in mind of, um, of other things. But technically, I guess grog, like old world grog, you know, the old navy and everything. Uh, not old navy, but the old navy, you know, old with an E, ye oldy navy. Uh, you know, you had your, your, your water and rum and maybe some citrus uh, juice in there as well. So I guess they're playing a little bit more off of that and a little bit less off of this sort of Highlander kind of feel. Um, <laughs> we'll see if it's the Prince of the Universe, if anybody remembers that reference. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this brewing and we'll check it out. All right, well, coffee should be good to go. Still has a very pleasant smell. As we unfortunately know, this is gonna be hot. I did not let that sit long enough. We are going to burn the mouth. Uh, but as we know, sometimes the smell doesn't always translate to the taste, but here's hoping. So Highlander Grog, let's check it out. Mm, yes, very, very hot. Interesting. So it is just a slight bit bitter. Not much, but just a slight bit. And there is an earthiness there. Certainly a, a, an earthiness, which I kind of like in coffee. Not everybody does, but I kind of do. There is, however, an artificial flavor in there that I'm not wholly enjoying. Now, I certainly get that butterscotchiness on kind of the back end. It, it, it sort of coats your mouth in a somewhat unpleasant way. Um, it kind of tastes like you walked into, I don't know, some like weird candy shop, you know, that instead of the candy smelling, you put like a candy scented candle. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably not explaining that very well. It's, um, yeah, there's just something artificial that I'm not 100% on, but the, the actual base coffee though, the base coffee isn't bad. Um, it is definitely medium body. You know what, that bitterness does kind of go away. It's almost like the bitterness from, say, like a, a dark chocolate, but it's not really chocolatey, but it's a very fleeting bitterness. 
So it's not, the, it's not bad. The coffee itself is smooth, but whatever they use to flavor, I just, I'm not, I'm not really enjoying all that much. It's, it's a bit too, too much. Um, it just becomes very pervasive in the taste, but like the base coffee is pretty good. Pretty good, medium roast, reasonable body. The, the bitterness is, is actually kind of, it helps it. There is an earthy bit in there, which I like. Um, but yeah, uh, skip out the butterscotch. There's really no reason for it to be there. In, in my opinion, I, I get the interpretation with the grog side, but um, yeah, that flavoring doesn't add anything to it for me. It actually kind of makes it um, a little bit meh. And if you kind of see here, it might be a little hard to capture on the camera, but there's kind of almost like a, a, an oiliness that pools on the uh, surface of the coffee which I'm not altogether thinking is all that great of a thing. So I will tell you that this might do well as like a cold brew with like, you know, some cream, some vanilla cream or something like that. It might be kind of interesting there. Maybe some of the cream might dissipate that oily butterscotch and it might make a decent cold brew. But as it sits, um, I'm kind of a little bit meh on it. Um, but like I said, the base coffee is good. It's just that extra added flavoring, not so much. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried this brand or this specific uh, type of this brand? If you have, leave that down in the comments below, love to hear from you. Also leave any ideas for future videos, love hearing those. If you'd like to send something in to be reviewed on the channel, the PO box is in the description. Patreon link is in the description as well if you'd like to support the channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good rest of your morning.